So I have applications, applications of plain mirrors, meaning where and where do they make use of plain mirrors. So application of plain mirrors. So what are we going to see here? What are we going to say here? Now, looking at this, the first application, one of the places that they make use of mirrors is in domestic for domestic purposes okay we can say domestic purposes purposes domestic purposes so what do i mean by domestic purposes for example you have a mirror in your house after taking your bath maybe you're going out you finish wearing your clothes you stand in front of your mirror to check how well dressed you are so that kind of mirror is a what a plain mirror another domestic um, use case is the one in your bathroom let's say you're brushing your teeth in the morning and then you are looking at that mirror in your in your bathroom you see that that mirror is also what is also a plain mirror so it is a domestic use and so many other applications okay then the number two we normally use the plain mirror in an optical device called a periscope called a periscope okay take note of that so a a, a, a plain mirror is applied in an optical device known as a periscope so what is a periscope? A periscope is an optical device that can be used to see an object that is behind an obstacle. Okay? So if there is an object behind an obstacle, we can use a periscope to visualize that object. So what, how, does it, how does it look like or which people will use it? Now imagine that you, you, are, you are in front of a very tall wall imagine you're in front of a very tall wall you see that whatever is happening behind that wall you won't be able to see it with your naked eye because your eye cannot see things through that wall but we can make use of a device called a periscope to see what is happening there okay so in a simple structure a periscope will look something like this a periscope will look something like this so this is the light coming from the objects okay the light coming from the object now it will strike a mirror here so there is one mirror on this side it will strike that mirror and get reflected on the second mirror so we have another mirror on this side so the light from the object will strike this mirror and then strike this mirror and then you can now see it okay so you see something like this in submarine so if a submarine is inside the water and it wants to see what is at the surface it will usually use a periscope okay now one question they can ask you here in jam is that what is the angle between the two mirrors in a periscope and you should tell them that the angle between the two periscope is what now 60 sorry 45 degrees it is 45 degrees so the angle between the mirrors in a periscope is what now 45 degrees take note of that now one more thing in real life applications in real life applications they don't make use of periscopes they don't make use of and uh, sorry they don't make use of a mirror in periscopes they don't make use of mirror why don't they make use of mirror if you remember what we talked about earlier whenever you have two mirrors in the same vicinity multiple images are formed so what happens because of the presence of two mirrors inclined at an angle of 45 degrees multiple images will be formed multiple images will be formed and remember number of images is equal to 360 divided by 45 minus 1 remember our formula n is 360 divided by theta minus 1 so 360 divided by 45 would give us 8 8 minus 1 will give us 7 7 images so if i make use of a periscope that has a mirror inside it is going to give me seven word images and in real life applications that will be very very bad for us so instead in real life applications these mirrors are replaced by prisms they are replaced by what prisms they are replaced by prisms triangular prisms or 45 degrees what prisms they are replaced by that okay so that is one application of uh, plain mirrors another application of plain mirror is uh, in what we call sextant what we call sextant okay now a sextant is an optical device that is used for 
measuring the angle of elevation of the sun so imagine that you are trying to measure the angle of elevation of the sun okay the instrument you will make use of to measure that is what a sextant it is a sextant so take note of that very important number four another application of plane mirror is in what we call kaleidoscope kaleidoscope okay now a kaleidoscope is an optical instrument used by fashion designers for obtaining different color patterns on fabrics so who is a fashion designer a fashion designer would normally design the fabric they will use for making maybe a cloth or something like so imagine this cloth i'm wearing the person that designed the fabric of this cloth the color and everything is the what is the fashion designer and for them to be able to mix up colors and uh, maybe experiment on different colors and get what exactly they want they make use of a device called the what a kaleidos Cope. now a kaleidoscope makes use of two mirrors inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to one another so take note of that the angle in a kaleidoscope is 60 degrees now there is no fixed angle for the mirrors in a sextant they are variable because we are measuring the angle of elevation of the water sun so these are our applications of plane mirrors